All right, so phone rebel frosted gen 6 for the iphone 16 pro max let's go ahead and jump straight in now i know a little bit earlier in the week we did the flex you know how a lot of you just whine and complain about the flex that's just mean the case isn't for you there are tons of people out there who like to use the phone rebel flex for what it is because they want to feel that minimalist on their case it ain't my fault that you got the dropsies and you're going to need something a little bit more like the phone rebel gen 6 so let's go ahead and get into it now before we get started, let me get the old Gen 5 out here just so we can kind of compare and contrast the things that they have fixed with it. Even though that's not the frosted Gen 5, you can still see kind of what's going on. Now, when you look at this case, it's basically going to be that very nice frost color. Now, I love the way Phone Rebel does their frost. It's probably some of the best frost in the business when it comes to a clear-ish, translucent, transparent type case. Really just love how smooth, how silky it feels. Of course, you will You'll see that mag safe that's going to be right there on the inside this is going to be a full covered case okay so all of your corners of your case 360 degrees of protection will be here phone rebel frosted series gen 6 as you see that mag safe magnet right there going along the top side you're going to get a little bit of frosted branding which they always do very subtle i love that coming along the sides you're going to get that classic phone rebel grip we will talk about these interchangeable buttons because you already know man phone rebel has one of the cleanest interchangeable button camera lens protective switching system there is when it comes to accessories and we're going to check everything that goes around the case now if you've never unboxed a phone rebel this is the packaging that you're basically going to get very plain jane but here are some of the details of the case let's go ahead and read them off 360 degrees of protection modular design and that's what i'm talking about when you can change the the buttons and your camera rings so that's what that means when they say modular design anti-shock strong magnets super grip easy swipe frosted feel and look tactile buttons and it includes that 2.5d screen protector here in the box so if you don't have no if you don't have nothing on your phone especially when it comes to screen protector if you order a phone rebel case don't worry about it they got you covered it's going to come with a screen protector in there but let's go ahead and take a look at the actual case once again so there's going to be some subtle things that you're going to see that's going to be a little bit different than the previous version now i will tell you one thing right offhand that is going to be a little bit different and that's going to be the grips on the side they tend to to kind of smooth out the grips ever so slightly over here you see that it was a just a lot more grips a lot more micro dots when it comes to the gen the gen 5 which is on the left this time they switched it up and don't have that many dots and kind of smoothed it out so it feels a little bit smoother in your hand it doesn't feel too aggressive for those who may have thought the grips were a little bit aggressive on the gen 5 things are a little bit smoothed out when it comes to the gen 6 and i love the way that feels also when it comes to the rear the rears of the gen 5 have these four little lips on all the corners so when you set it down on the actual ground your phone is not placed directly on the surface now when it comes to the gen 6 you no longer have those little feet that goes all the way around now in my opinion i wish they were still there because sometimes i'm not 100 percent sure how resistant this frosted back is and i want to keep it as icy and as clean as possible because between me just kind of taking the phone in and out i have a little defect already right here in my frosting so that's something to kind of pay attention to i wish they will add these little feet back just so when you place it down on the table you will be good to go and things are a little bit more clean and a little more protected you know what i'm talking about now of course it is going to be a little bit thinner i'm not sure if you're able to tell by looking at it on the camera but the gen 5, 6 feels noticeably thinner when you were talking about holding it in your hand of course you're going to have that camera control right here and you see the button layout is a little bit different this year they decided to go with very flush type buttons more so than the gen 5 version you really will see it once i pop the gen 6 into the case but enough comparison and all that when it comes to that man let's just go ahead and get the scale over here and let's go ahead and run through what matters when we are talking about this case so dropping it down on the scale we are looking at 53 grams just the gen 6 alone let's go ahead and grab the icy and pop it in with the white titanium you heard that smack yeah, very, very tight fit. Dropping that down, we're looking at 293 grams 
Phone Rebel Gen 6 paired with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at it, man. This looks very good, just like I stated in my Phone Rebel Flex video. When you're talking about this ice, this icy look just looks very good, in my opinion, when it comes to that frosted back. And it just looks so good when you were talking about putting it up with this case. So let's go ahead and step around the case. On the bottom right here, you see you do get that little bit of Phone Rebel branding. So starting off over here with the button side, as you you can see right here you're going to have that power button now look at the power button and you can kind of see what i mean by it having a very flush look and feel this year now all the buttons do still they do still work pretty tactile but i need to see a little bit of more protrusion all right when it comes to that button because it feels very flush when you run your hand across it and definitely when you're engaging it it's just not giving you that good button feel that you love i want that button to just pop out a little bit more they just tend to really flush things out this year when they come to their buttons not terrible the buttons yes they do still work but that's something that is a little bit different than before so Something we definitely got to pay attention to. Now, looking at that camera control cutout, you know there's all different cutouts when it comes to that camera control. And I really feel like Phone Rebel did a very good job when we are talking about smoothing things off. There is no rough corners. You know, when you're thinking about the camera control, there are some very rough corners in cases out there. But when it comes to this one, man, I think they did a great job of doing the best they can if you're not going to implement the button. And that's just what it feels. It feels very good when you're talking about putting your finger in there. Pause. When you're trying to activate that camera control button, I feel like it doesn't get into the way. Of course, you do got to get a little bit of a, you know, get your finger up in there. But once it's in there, you're going to get it just fine. And it's no, <laughs> it's no problem whatsoever, I feel, with using that camera control button. But go ahead and complain in the comments. I know you guys are going to say, no camera control button, did no buy from me. Just go buy a damn Apple silicone case, all right? So flipping it over on the bottom, one thing that they did improve on, and I already threw my Gen 6 5. Let me... Let me go back and get it, man. We still we still aren't finished comparing. One thing that always was terrible about the port on phoneable cases, they were always too small. The Gen 6 has opened that port up a little bit to where you're now able to fit bigger Type-C cables in there. So you don't got to be so limited. Throw that over again. You don't got to be so... I thought I went into that trash can again. <laughs> you don't got to be so limited when it comes to these ports. You can get about any cable that you have out there and you will be able to charge this with no issues. Flipping it over on the volume up and down side, as you can see here, buttons still work very, very good. Still work great, but once again, there's just a little too flush in my opinion. I really would like to see that get that pop out again so you can get that real nice tactile feel when you were trying to activate those buttons. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that lay on the tail protection. Now, you already know how Phone Rebel gets down with their front lips. It's going to be rocking that claw design, which means it has a raised corner, especially on the tops and on the corners. All four corners has these raised claws that you can see when turning it around. So when you're able to drop your Phone Rebel, you will be protected. And of course, Phone Rebel on the insides has that shock material. You've already seen drop tests. Well, I don't know if he does them anymore, but drop tests with the Phone Rebel cases have always been phenomenal. Phone Rebel, I have ran probably are one of the cases that I've ran for the longest period of time. And I know I've dropped my phone very serious and they've been perfectly protected when it comes to these Phone Rebel cases. Also, it kind of has a little bit of reinforcement when, to, when it comes to the corners. You get a little bit more material on each four of those corners. So you will have those claws. That's gonna feel really good. And you already know, as you come down to the middle of it, it's gonna be very flush to help you out with your swipes and different things like that when you were talking about navigating through your phone. Flipping over on the back side, your camera lip is gonna be the, basically the same, standard protocol. When it comes to the camera, putting it down, it'll be protected and you do get your wobble on when it comes to this case. Now, how does this case go ahead and fit on this phone? Let's go ahead and check it out. Starting off at that top right here, basically no budge. If you know anything about phone rebel cases, you know they fit extremely tight. And on that top side, basically no budge. Coming along, and even when it comes to the side, you're not really going to get much budge. You're going to get a little bit of play. Keep going down to the bottom. One area that I love to look at is going to be this camera control area right here. Do you, do you have too much give to where I feel like that's going to be a pain point over time? And they don't have that much give. It, it does move a little bit and it does have a little give to it. But I don't feel like that's going to be super loose over time. And there's somewhere that you have to worry about. I think it's going to be just fine. Come along down to the bottom. Of course, it's going to be very tight all the way around. Pops. First pop. 
second pop, third, fourth. So all the pops around this phone, the phone is in there like a glove, fits very tight, wouldn't expect nothing less when it comes from Rome Phone Rebel. Now, what did I say from Phone Rome Rebel? <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about how it feels in your hand because this is where I really, really love where the Gen 6 is going because it definitely thin things up, doesn't feel as bulky in your hand. And just like I stated before, those grips are ever so slightly, you know, a little bit lessened and a little bit smoothed out. So where you still get good grip, it's not aggressive. You don't feel it as much in your hand when you're holding it. And I just love how thin the Foam Rebel has became over the years. It's always been a fairly... Not too bit of a chunky case, but it, it used to add a little bit material. And it's good to see that this case is starting to get thinner and thinner as the years go along. And I am actually here for it. So I feel like it does very good when you were talking about holding it. Feels very good in the hands, very smooth. Doesn't feel bulky like you have a huge brick in your hand, in your pocket. That's the phone case. You're just happy to see me. All right. It's, it's, it doesn't give you that feeling. It really feels really good, in my opinion, when you're talking about holding it in hand. Now. Let's go ahead and test out that MagSafe strength. Y'all know what time it is, man. Let's go ahead and put it on the scale. Now, Phone Rebel said they have increased their magnets. And for all everybody who owned the Frosted, you know there was always a problem with the magnets popping out. They also said they improved the magnets adhesion and not popping out of your case. So hopefully we do not see that problem out there when it comes to Phone Rebel because I feel like that has been haunting them ever since the very, very first Frosted case. But let's go ahead and test out that strength. Let's see what those magnets are working with. And as you can see, it does pick the magnet up. Very magnets are very similar to the flex, all right? You're not gonna be able to go up and down and different things like that, but it does pick up this base. And for everybody on my channel, you know if you can pick this base up, then you know you have a pretty good magnet. So good job, Phone Rebel, for giving you these solid magnets. Let's go ahead and go over to the MagSafe test real quick, popping it down if you have that frosted back on a MagSafe wallet. If you're talking about moving it around and different things like that, you see it's gonna move around ever so slightly, but if you're just doing minimal movements, it's not gonna move. You have to purposely kind of try to move this thing around, but everyday moving, I think you'll be just fine if you wanted to run a MagSafe wallet on the back of this case. Now, let's go ahead and bring the Mag Shake Shake test in. So here's the MagSafe battery pack, and I need to get my other one, because this one is a little bit bigger than normal, but let's just go ahead and do it anyway. So we're gonna do light shake, all right? Medium shake, and I feel that it's probably about to come off. All right, so good medium shake, and that battery pack was able to come off, but still very strong magnets from Phone Rebel. You don't need anything stronger than these. This will get the job done, and car mounts, and every mount, desk mount, whatever you got, it is gonna be just fine. So head over to the website, man. Order it down below, Phone Rebel. That is an affiliate link, so if you buy it from there, you do say thank you to your boy, and thank you guys for always supporting the channel and using my links. It's a solid case. Phone Rebel, I feel like they did a great job. I really like how thin this Phone Rebel has gotten. I love how smooth and subtle the grips now feel it doesn't feel like it's too aggressive in your hand and i really love that camera control area i feel like is the smoothest that you can do once again if you're not going to have that camera control button but one thing that i would love to see actually two things that i would love to see come back is kind of give us a little bit more of protrusion on these buttons i feel like they're a little bit too flush and give us the little claws on the back i think it's going to be just fine although it does help with holding it there are no sharp areas when it comes to the Gen 6, but I just kind of want the inclusion of those corners to just protect this frosted back by any means necessary, man. So head over down below, grab the link. I'll post a Phone Rebel link where you can get a little bit more goodies if you decide to order, and I will place the Amazon link in case you got an Amazon gift card or something like that and that you want to rock out with. But if you want to check out the Phone Rebel Flex, you want something that's going to give you that Phone Rebel protection with a little bit of minimal to it, I'll leave that Flex video right here.